record. Happy Friday, everybody. We are going to go ahead and get into our daily practice of yoga. Okay, some of us, including this little man, are not moving very quick, but that's okay because we're going to do some nice, relaxing yoga. So I'd like to, you to find yourself, of course, in a nice seated pose. Okay, and you want to try and get rid of any distractions that you have, though we can't get rid of every distraction, but we're going to do our best with it. Can you sit crisscross applesauce, buddy? Do you know how to do that? All right. So we're going to sit crisscross applesauce. We're going to stay with our low poses today. Uh, nothing new is being introduced, but we're going to work on our breathing. So we're going to try to get to six again, six uninterrupted breaths. So on your own, you're going to sit up nice and tall, reaching the top of your head up towards the ceiling, and you're going to take a deep breath in. Slowly exhale out. On your own, we're going to do six more uninterrupted breaths. All right, as we get to the end of that sixth breath, we're gonna take another nice deep breath in, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna exhale, we're gonna roll the body forward, placing our hands on the mat, and we're gonna find ourselves in table pose. That's downward dog, buddy, come on. Okay, so our hands are below our shoulders, our knees are below our hips. We're gonna reach the front of the head forward, the back of the head, or the hips back, and we're gonna breathe in table. On your next inhale, let's round the spine up in the cat, stretching through the inhale. And as you exhale, press the belly down in the cow. On your own, three rotations of cat and cow. Okay, inhale, raise that right leg behind you. Exhale, swing the right leg between the hands, reach the left leg back, draw the hands behind the hips and press those hips down and forward. Low lunge. As you exhale, feel yourself sink into your stretch. Inhale, drop the hands down. Bring that right hand to the inside. Exhale, press your hips forward, raise your chest up. Low lizard. Good, inhale, walk the hand back to the outside. Exhale, slight lean. Inhale, roll the hips up, bring the spine nice and high. Walk that front foot forward. Make sure your left leg is nice and straight. Exhale, hands down, sink. Low, warrior one. Inhale, raise the hips. Exhale, open left arm back, right arm forward. Sink hips down, low warrior two. You're good, Ty, thank you. Glad you're here. Inhale, raise the hips up. Exhale, pivot to the middle, fold back down. Tuck the right toe, or sorry, left toe, raise the foot, slide that right foot back, plank pose. Inhale, raise the hips up, elbows tight. Exhale, crocodile, lowering the body down. 
bring the hands out in front. Okay, elbows are nice and tight. We're gonna flex that lower spine and we're gonna hold Sphinx pose. Roll the neck. Good job, buddy. Draw the hands into the body. Inhale and press up into Cobra. Inhale, raise the hips, come back to table. Walk the hands forward, bring the heels together, widen the knees. Press the hips back, lowering the chest down into arms extended child. Ooh, cramp in my foot. Try to put your armpits and chest down onto the mat. Inhale back up to table. And let's take some good focused breaths in our base pose of table pose. Three rotations of cat and cow on your own. Come back to neutral. People coming in, excellent. Inhale, raise that left leg behind you, reaching far back. Exhale, swing that left leg between the hands. Reach that right foot back, hips behind, or hands behind the hips, press the hips forward and low lunge. Drop your hands down in front. Inhale, bring that left hand to the inside. Again, chest up, hips down, lizard pose. Inhale, bring that left hand back to the outside. Exhale, slight lean into your lunge. Inhale, roll the hips up, hands nice and high. Exhale, hands down, sink hips forward, low warrior one. Try to adjust that back right leg, make sure it's straight, your feet are on a train track. Okay, not a line, but apart. Inhale, raise your hips up. Exhale, open right arm back, left arm forward, sink hips down, low warrior two. Adjust that back, try to be nice and straight. Good. Inhale, raise the hips up. Exhale, pivot, fold. Tuck the right toe, raise the knee. Slide that left foot back. Plank pose again. Raise the hips up, elbows tight. Exhale, crocodile, lowering the whole body down with your hips up. Inhale, roll that spine up into Cobra. Inhale, raise the hips. Exhale, widen the knees, feet together, press the hips back, lower the chest and armpits down to the mat. Arms extended, child. Inhale, back up to table. Cross those heels or ankles behind you. Walk your hands back and find yourself in seated pose. Take a nice couple deep focusing breaths.
Inhale, sit the spine up nice and tall. Exhale, extend the right leg out. Inhale, bring a big arm circle, reach nice and high, elongating the spine. And remember, we're folding at the hip. So I'm reaching and I'm folding. I'm trying to keep my back flat. I'm reaching and I'm folding, I'm trying to keep my back flat. I'm reaching and I'm folding, grabbing either my shin, my ankle, or my toe in single leg fold or half fold. Head is down next to the shoulder. Inhale, slight raise. Exhale, both hands out, grab that knee or grab that foot. Inhale, roll the spine up. Exhale, switch feet, straightening the left, bring the right up to the side. Inhale, nice tall spine, be strong, be strong. Bring the arm, reach, reach and flatten, reach and flatten, reach and flatten. Half fold. Inhale, slight raise. Exhale, both hands out, half fold. Inhale, roll the spine up, draw the left foot up into a butterfly, pulling those feet nice and tight to you. Wrap your hands underneath your feet. I like to use my elbows again as some leverage as I go down to increase my stretch. I'm gonna sit up nice and tall, just like I do with my half fold. Okay, so my spine is big. I'm gonna reach my chest forward, folding up the hips. I walk my elbows down to my shins. I'm gonna reach, walk down a little more. One more time if you can, reach that chest out and forward into folded butterfly. Inhale, roll the spine up. Keeping your feet in that butterfly, raise your hands, stack your fingers, point your thumbs, roll those shoulders forward to engage them, straight spine, and begin to exhale that spine back, rolling it down your mat, vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae, till we find ourselves in a laying butterfly. Today, we're just gonna let gravity pull down on our knees, Open up our hip flexors, and we're gonna take a couple nice, good, deep breaths and laying butterfly. Extend the feet out in front. Inhale, raise the right knee, bend the knee, wrap your hands around knee, ankle, shin, squeeze the knee to the chest. Release your grip, keeping that left hand on the knee. Inhale, reach your right hand out to the side, turn your eyes to gaze at that right hand, point the left toe away, and then we're gonna draw that knee across the body. Remember, if you feel your shoulder blade lifting up, stop, okay? If you can keep going, keeping your shoulder blade on the mat, that's awesome, but I wanna see the shoulder blades down, which is creating a good twist of our upper and lower lumbar, okay, your spine. So that's why we put that toe away, because you're trying to create a straight line from nose all the way down to right toe, or left toes. Inhale back up to the middle. Exhale and extend. Inhale. Left leg up, wrap your hands around the left knee, squeeze that knee to the chest nice and tight. Roll out the ankle. Half wind maker. Keeping your right hand on the knee, inhale, reach that left hand out to the side. Exhale, draw the knee across the body, pointing the toe away. Bent knee twist. Breathe. Inhale that knee back up to the middle. Exhale, relax it. 
Inhale, draw both knees up. Wrap your hands around both knees, ankles, shins. Squeeze nice and tight. And we're gonna rock front to back, massaging the lower spine in full windmaker. Exhale, extend the feet out in front. Roll the spine back down the mat and find yourself in a nice, comfortable position. Hands out to the side, try to stay on your back. It just helps with that good breathing. Fridays are always our fastest day. Okay, you've done yoga for three days in a row. You didn't get a break day this week. And it's really our true first week of yoga. You've done excellent. Now you have the base poses, okay? You should be able to name five, if not 10 poses already, which is awesome. We will continue our daily journey of yoga every day. Mondays, we introduce new poses. Next week on Tuesday, we're going to stand up on Tuesdays. We're going to do some standing poses. Thursdays, we go both planes, high and low. And then Fridays are usually a fast flex Friday. Obviously, with the snow and the ice and the power, this week has been different. So we're going to have one more wonderful period of relaxation time. Hopefully, you got a decent little stretch of your body. But yoga is twofold. Not only is it the stretching and movement and poses, it's also the breathing and the mindset. We work on our daily practice of mindfulness to clear our mind of distraction. Really, we should be doing it while we're practicing yoga itself, but that comes down the road as you get better and better at this. Right now, I want you to continue to find that joy. Lots of you told me different things in your life that make you happy or make you hopeful or make you smile or fill you with a good, happy, joyful, warm feeling. I want you to find whatever that is. It might be hard to find it. I understand that. But you're gonna try your best to find it and have it be the focal point of your thoughts. There's gonna be distractions, guarantee it. It's the human way. Stress, anxiety, worry, anger, fear, tired, whatever those negative emotions are, you're gonna give yourself permission for the next five minutes to let those negative, let, 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 let those negative emotions go. I visualize mine physically leaving through my fingertips. I find whatever it is that's making me worried. Like right now, I'm worried about putting in grades. I'm worried about what they're going to talk about, about like hybrid and what that model is going to look like. I'm worried about money. Like I have all kinds of worries and I'm sure you do too. But for this short period of time, I don't allow my mind to focus on those worries. I give myself permission to let them go. It's not forever. Okay. This is learning how to manage our emotions, not push your fears and angers away and never deal with them. That's not healthy, but not spending every second of your day surrounded by the thoughts is also okay. So five minutes, give yourself permission to get rid of your distractions. Nice, slow, deep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, focusing on something positive. Try to stay present in the moment. Stay away from your phones, computers, or distractions. If you do get distracted, note it. Take a deep, deep breath and stay ever present in the moment.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, you can go ahead and start to slowly sit yourselves up, come back to the present moment, and come back to the reality of uh, where we are. Happy Friday, everybody. Namaste. My soul sees yours. I appreciate you all being here so much. Um, this is a crazy time, and I'm going to say it every day. I know you don't have to be here. I know many of you are choosing to leave your cameras off, but I hope you're doing the yoga with me. I hope you're getting some type of relaxation during this time. I hope it's a little bit of time away from your computer. And I just, I thank you for being here for me. Let me keep doing my job, letting me be here with my son and like show you guys what I do and uh, dealing with all of us together. So uh, the secret question of the day today is what is your favorite pose so far? We've just got intro poses. What one do you like doing so far? You cannot pick relaxation pose. I know a bunch of you are gonna pick that but actual physical pose. What is your favorite pose so far? Put that in the chat. Um, if you weren't with us live, we missed you immensely. If you were live, hang out. I'm gonna stop the recording.